Way you can you can write in quite easy. I did that before also in winter. <laughs> but uh, comparing to Poodle Bay is no road, and Poodle Bay is not the most northern point. Vero is the most northern point of continental USA. So that's where I started and rode over the ice to Poodle Bay and then down. Yes. <laughs> Okay, he's going from the farthest it north to the big farthest part. south on that crazy looking motorcycle out there with a big trailer. Yeah, okay, this is him. Alright, he was outside, uh, he's trying to sell some DVDs of his past um, travels. I'm going to let him talk, I'm, but he, uh, I think he's traveled in every continent uh, on his motorcycle. Um, so I'll just turn it over to you, tell your story a little bit. These guys are really tired, so they don't talk real long. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to ask you how long do I have? Because yeah, I got quite a few stories, but I uh, yeah, I will, <clears throat> I will keep it uh, very uh, short. My name is Charles Gasse. I am from the Netherlands, and uh, I uh, started traveling around the world when motorcycle vacations or holidays were not long enough anymore. And I decided to, uh, to ship my bike to Australia and rode around there for four and a half months. Uh, then sent it back and went as a backpacker to Indonesia. Indonesia was lovely, but I missed my wheels. I missed the independence of uh, having a motorcycle. And I got bitten by the travel bug and I did a world travel from uh, three years, which I actually called to the other end of the world and back. I uh, finished that in 1998, uh, and in 2001 I started with, uh, with an R1 traveling around the world for five years and five months. And that's uh, about that travel. I have uh, written a book which is now trans uh, getting translated in English, but on my website you can already see it. And I have a documentary DVD for sale, which I have with me this evening. Um, also, this uh, was not um, extreme enough anymore, it gets more and more extreme. I always wanted to go to the North Pole, so I wanted to do some riding in the cold. And I rode in the, during the winter together with a friend up to the most northern point of uh, Europe, which is the, the, the North Cape in Norway, over snow and ice. Got lots of uh, experience uh, of, about snow and about ice but not about the cold, it wasn't cold enough. <laughs> so uh, Alaska, that's where it's cold. Yeah. Wow. So in 2009 I rode together with, uh, with a woman, uh, Doris Wiedemann, from Key West to Dead Horse in Alaska in February. Okay. Now that was cold. <laughs> Close to minus 40. Um, so that was cold and I got also lots of experience. But uh, I didn't get experience with the ice because the last part they didn't let me ride. That's, uh, that is territory of the oil companies. So I thought this time, now I'm going to do the most northern point, but I'm going to fly in there and not do it the other way around because they're not going to let me on the ice. So I flew the bike and the, you, say, you said a trailer, but it was a sled before. Uh, towards barrel and after a while uh, of testing I started riding. The sled was too heavy so unfortunately I had to let, have that pulled by uh, a guy with a snow machine but I rode all the way uh, over the ice. And uh, then I ended up by the control points from the oil companies and on, from, from the Pluto Bay side up they hold everybody, uh, uh, stop, stop, you're not allowed. But from the other side, they never had any co anybody coming. So. <laughs> I work for Santa. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the North Pole. Poor guy. Poor guy like, who was sitting there, had no idea what to do. <laughs> 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 
So uh, that was that was easy that way. And uh, yeah, from there it was an easy ride down uh, towards uh, towards here, towards the moon uh, shine uh, lunch run. And uh, yeah, the rest will be hopefully easy towards Key West where I finish this travel. I have to finish it in a week because I get only 90 days on my visa. <laughs> what is next? I don't know, I told you I want to go to the North Pole, but I uh, haven't, haven't been now on the ice and uh, it was a big struggle, it was extremely difficult and I would never make enough mileage to get to the North Pole and back before it has been melted. <laughs> so I have to figure out what uh, to do next. But I, uh, I'm gonna um, leave it by this. I want to thank you all for listening, and hopefully later on, check me outside or see me tomorrow uh, to buy a DVD or postcards or something else for me. And uh, if not, everybody has a, have a tomorrow a very nice and safe run. Thank you.